In this video I'll show you three of my most viral PowerPoint slides that use the Morph transition. The PowerPoint version that I'm using is PowerPoint for Microsoft 365, the Mac edition. These effects are super easy to create, so without further ado, let's get started. But first I want to show you something. What if I told you that you can have a personal assistant to help you organize your tasks for the day so you don't miss any deadlines for your projects? And the best part, it's free. Well, today I want to show Show you how you can achieve this by using a platform called monday.com. If you've never heard of monday.com, this is a productivity app that helps you stay organized with your projects. On the left hand side you have workspaces, which are essentially folders for each of your projects. And on the right hand side you can add all the tasks required for each project. What I usually do is add the title of the task and then click on this icon to expand it and give more context or information. For example, here I listed all the specifications for this project, so my team can review everything and start working on it without me having to explain it all. There's also a files tab if you need to add documents, images, videos, etc., which is super helpful to keep everything organized. Now, something very important is that you need to define the status of each task to set its priority. You just need to click on the label and select either done working on it, stuck or not started. In the column next to it, you have a space to set a deadline date. Just click on it and select a date from the calendar. But here's where it gets interesting. There's a new icon called Sidekick, which is basically your own personal assistant that can help you with anything you need related to your projects. And you can interact with it by typing in the chat box. For example, I want it to tell me all the upcoming tasks that I need to complete by the end of this month. And in just a couple of seconds, I have them here. This is practically your own personal assistant that will keep you on track so you don't miss any deadlines. If you want to try monday.com for free, I have an exclusive link in the description box of this video. Okay, so for the first one, we're gonna start by changing the background color to whatever color you like. I picked yellow. Then you need to insert an image without the background. In my case, it's this card that I got from the Lamborghini website. And to create the rotating wheels effect, first we're gonna duplicate this image with Ctrl D on your keyboard and put it in the exact same position as the other one. Next, you need to go to picture format, click on the drop down from crop, click on crop to shape and select a circle. And then click on crop again and change the aspect ratio to one by one. Perfect, so now you just need to make this circle smaller and place it on the wheel like this. I'll quickly align the handle so it fits perfectly and now you should have the wheel separated from the car. I repeated the process with the other wheel and now we're ready to continue with the rest of the tutorial. Let's add a logo which in my case is obviously the Lamborghini logo that I got from their website and then we're gonna go to shapes and select a square. Let's make sure that it covers the entire area of the slide and then let's go to shape outline and select no outline and then just change the shape field to whatever color that you like. I I picked a dark gray. Let's go to shape, select this triangle right here and we're gonna add it to the left hand side of the slide like this. Okay, perfect. So now holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna click on the gray area first, then on the rectangle and then on the triangle. Click on merge shapes and here you're gonna select fragment. Now let's just delete this tiny bit that we don't need and then right click on the right hand side of the slide and select send to back and then just move this part to the right like this. And for the triangle on the left, just move it slightly to the left like this. All right, so we'll duplicate this slide with Ctrl D and then go back to the first slide. And holding Shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select both of the wheels and then just rotate them to the right like this until you reach 270 degrees. And then you're gonna select the whole car, including the wheels, and just move it outside of the slide to the left like this. And for the gray shapes that we did, we're just gonna close them back together. For the logo, we're simply gonna place it in the middle of the slide. If you want, you can go to picture format, click on align, align to center and align to middle. And then you're going to select the second slide, go to transitions and apply morph. So now we have this effect of the car sliding into the slide like this, which looks amazing. Let's duplicate the slide for the second time, select both wheels and we're going to rotate them this time to around 180 degrees. Next, let's select absolutely everything from this slide and move it to the right outside of the slide like this. 
And here let's insert another rectangle that takes the entire area of the slide like this and make sure that it matches the other shapes that we did in terms of color. And here's where you're gonna add your content. Select the rectangle and your content and copy it with Ctrl C. Let's go back to the previous slide and paste it with Ctrl V and then just move it to the left like this. Finally, just apply the morph transition to the third slide and that's done. That's how easy you can make this first slide using the morph transition in PowerPoint. This effect looks super cinematic and I'm sure it will make a good impression. This next tutorial could be great if you need to showcase some stats for example. And we'll start by changing the background color of the slide to black. Next you're gonna insert an image with a transparent background. In my case I created this scan with ChatGPT. So let me know in the comments if you want me to share the prompt that I used to create this image. After placing it in the center of the slide we're gonna duplicate this image with Ctrl D and put it in the exact same position as the other one. Then click on picture format color and let's select the gray scale. Next let's click on artistic effects and select this option right here and then let's go to corrections and select an option with an increased brightness and contrast like this one. From the shapes panel we're gonna select a line and holding shift on your keyboard you're gonna drag it from left to right like this so we get a perfectly straight line. I'll quickly change each color to white and I'm gonna add my information right here. Next let's select our image and we're gonna go to picture format then click on crop and we're gonna drag the bottom handle all the way to the line like this. Now this slide already looks great but we'll bring it to life by duplicating the slide with Ctrl D then going back to the first slide select the content and the line and we'll bring it down to the edge of the slide like this. Just make sure that the line is touching the bottom of the slide. All right, so let's select this bit at the top. We're going to go to picture format, click on crop and drag the handle all the way to the bottom like this. And then we'll click on the second slide, go to transitions and click on morph. Sometimes it works and sometimes you get this mistake where it doesn't look like the can is filling up. So let me show you how to fix this very quickly. So first you have to go to the arrange tab and then you're going to select selection pane. Click on the image and it will be highlighted in the selection pane. So just double click on it to change it. And here we'll just add a couple of exclamation points at the beginning. Next we'll go to the second slide, select this image right here and again change its name with a couple of exclamation points at the beginning. And this is a way to tell PowerPoint that this is the exact same object. So we need to apply the morph transition to the same image. So now if we go to the second slide and click on morph, that should be working perfectly. This effect looks amazing and it can really help you bring your stats to life. The last slide could be great if you need to highlight different people in your team, for example, and it's very easy to create. So we'll start by inserting an image that takes the entire area of the slide like this. And then let's select a rectangle from the shapes panel and we'll make sure that it covers the entire image and it goes over the slide like this. Right click on the shape and then select format shape to get this panel on the right hand side. And first we're going to change the fill color to black and then let's increase the transparency to around 45% and let's click on line and select no line. Then let's go to the effects panel, click on glow and here you're going to select the color of your choice. In my case, I think red will look really good. Let's also increase the transparency here to around 45% and increase the size as well. Perfect. So now let's click on shapes and select a rounded rectangle. And here we're going to cover the last person from our image. Holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select the rectangle first and then the rounded rectangle. Go to shapes format, click on merge shapes and select subtract. So now you'll have this little cutout right here and on the left hand side you can add your content. Perfect. So now let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D, go back to the previous slide, delete all this information and move the rectangle to the next character, add your content and we'll keep on repeating the same process with all the characters. So just delete your information, move the rectangle to the next person, add your new information and just keep on repeating the process until you're done with every single person in your image. To make the slides a lot more dynamic, in some slides you're gonna select your image and just make it slightly larger like this. So for the second slide we're gonna keep it as it is, on the third slide you're gonna increase the size just a little bit, maybe move it around a little bit as well and just do this on random slides with no particular order. 
And once you're done holding shift on your keyboard, select all the slides, go to transitions and apply morph. And that's it. That's how easy you can make these three super viral PowerPoint slides using the morph transition. Remember that you can download all of these slides from the link in the description box of this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for many more PowerPoint tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you